subscribers i'll just name him jg for sending this particular article um this is one that came out august 8th but i have a, a few more that i'm going to show you that date back a couple of years ago we've been talking about the low birth rate in america and we have seen industries like the diaper industry and formula suffer. We have seen stores like Toys R Us close because there's simply not enough people coming in there to buy for babies and children anymore. And many of the hospital maternity wards, especially in rural areas, are in the red and they have no more justifiable reason for keeping the maternity ward open anymore. So they're closing down, mainly in rural areas, but in other areas where the population decline is so great, they don't keep these maternity wards open anymore because it's just costing too much money for hospitals to do so. So this one says, bye-bye babies. Sonoma Valley Hospital set to close a obstetrics unit this fall. Small rural hospitals are struggling all over the country. And the North Bay is no exception. So, They have part of this hospital now up for sale, okay? And they get into the reasons why these closures have to happen. So it's set to close in July. It's due to high costs of operating the unit and they've been in the red for several years a drop in local births combined with changes in economic healthcare delivery have contributed to the deficit, all right? And this is what the hospital CEO is saying. Sonoma is increasingly a community of elders. And of course we know elders don't give birth. Fewer young couples are starting families here in part because of the high cost of living. Births are down nearly 50% since 2010. And as a result, the Sonoma Hospital OB unit has been operating at a loss of a half a million dollars a year. The decline in birth rates is a national trend, and that is the truth. That is the truth. In May, the Center for Disease Control reported that the U.S. birth rate is the lowest it's been in 30 years, lower than the replacement rate needed to sustain the population. So the hospital's revenue, and this is a big reason, it is running below $3 million. And, you know, it, you know, they have to do this. And, and don't be surprised if in the next few years you see whole hospitals closing down altogether. Because it's just the population decline is impacting the amount of patients that are in hospitals, too. So it has a domino effect on many industries, including medical. So I want to show you some of the other articles, and that's a good one. 
And this one came out in Political Magazine. Rural hospitals are dying and pregnant women are paying the price. Heavily reliant on Medicaid dollars, small hospitals shut down maternity wards just to stay afloat. It's just simply not enough people coming in. And this article actually came out October 3rd, 2017. So this has been going on for quite some time, y'all. It has. It, it has even gone way beyond 2017. This kind of stuff has been going on. So um, this is a hospital, a Blue Ridge Labor and Delivery Unit, which delivered 173 children last year, shut down in September 30th. The next closest hospital with a maternity ward, McDowell Hospital in Marion, is roughly an hour north east of Parker's home. This is a person that has to give a, you know, have a baby, and she's got to travel over an hour now just to get to a hospital. And, you know, there's a lot of things going on with Medicaid and Congress debating over all of the opioid use and funding and everything out here. And these hospitals that are around in Appalachia, they're suffering. And they were talking about another hospital, Angel Medical Center in Franklin, uh, Franklin, North Carolina, shut down its maternity ward in July. It was losing um, two million dollars a year. So you're going to see this happen, and it is happening. They can't keep these hospitals open anymore if people aren't hardly having babies. Here's another one. This one's dated uh, September 25th, 2017. And it's also talking about the maternity wards closing. You know, this is no joke, y'all. This is really, really happening around the country, you know? And unfortunately we have a mainstream media that is so biased that they won't report on things like this. You know, they would rather sit around and report on things that really, in my opinion, it should not concern anybody. But this sort of thing, this is what should concern people. You know, because you have people in these rural communities with low populations and the few people that are pregnant, they may have to travel an hour or more just to get to the nearest hospital now. You know, so it's saying in this article that women in Asheville and Marion now have to travel um, you know, from their rural counties, 20 miles just to give birth and go to the nearest delivery room. That's not because they have no hospital uh, maternity ward within their area. Hmm. You know, when you live in these areas and it's not too many people out there. You know, what I can see, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of these people are gonna move out of these areas. They're not gonna have a choice. Many of these rural communities, not only are their hospital um, maternity wards closing, but these communities are struggling worse than you can imagine. Being that it's not much population growth going on, they're not around any good businesses anymore. And it's a lot of unemployment, drug use going on there. So I can imagine in the near future, very, very near future, it's not even going to make sense to even live in these rural communities anymore. They're not near anything. 
and the communities don't have any money. I was reading how many of these rural areas, the politicians are saying they literally have no money in these communities. So they can't even have, some of them are so poor and broke, they can't even have a police department um, running for seven days a week. Some of the rural areas got police departments that only work Monday through Friday. And on the weekends, they don't have a police department working. Or they'll try to use police from neighboring towns to come in and try to support the people on the weekend. That's how bad it is in those areas. Here's another one. Labor delivery rooms closing at rural hospitals. And this is talking about, um, you know, studies that are being done on the facilities um, to access labor and delivery facilities are declining. And this is creating a problem for some of the 500,000 women who give birth in rural hospitals every year. Some women are as far as 60 miles away from the nearest hospitals and facilities that they need to go to. Cause you know, you know, you gotta go to the hospital every month, you know, or go to see a doctor every month when you're pregnant. And I mean, driving 60 miles, that's outrageous. But no one should be surprised by this. Now, the states that are really struggling and going through the biggest impacts, Colorado, Iowa, Kentucky, New York, North Carolina, Oregon, Vermont, Washington, and Wisconsin. Okay, the researchers found that 7.2% of hospitals in the study closed their obstetrics department. Those departments were smaller and more likely to be privately owned. They were also located in communities with lower family income. Okay, so they don't even have a lot of family doctors in those areas. So yeah, that's going to present a big problem. Prenatal care was still available in 17 of 19 counties. So right here, um, why facilities are closing. In fact, hospitals doing fewer than 100 births a year were the most vulnerable. Wow. I, I just can't imagine that there are places that aren't even doing 100 births a year, but it it's really that bad. They are like operating an intensive care unit with a lot of specialists involved, Hung said. Others in the field agree. Uh, Maribeth McLaughlin, RN, BSN, MPM, Chief Nursing Officer and Vice President of Patient Services at McGee Women's Hospital of the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center told Healthline, in some areas, facilities are struggling to maintain safe and comprehensive obstetrics and pediatric services because meeting today's standards of care, including readiness for the rare but potential serious complications related to childbirth, as well as covering the highest of malpractice insurance for both providers and facilities can be cost prohibitive for facilities with limited financial resources. Difficulty with staffing is another issue. Rural areas have a hard time with retention, recruitment, and liability issues surrounding obstetricians. Well, I would imagine, yeah, because those places are pretty remote. So I would imagine it would have a, a hard time with keeping staff. So 
as long as they're losing money, they're going to keep closing these facilities. Here's another one. When hospitals are in financial trouble, fin uh, maternity care is the first to go. A frightening new trend is sweeping the country that could affect thousands of mothers, children, and family, according to the University of Minnesota Rural Health Research Center. More and more hospitals in rural areas are closing down their maternity wards. All right. And they conducted this study over a 10 year period between 2004 and 2014. And more than half of all rural counties in the US were missing um, this type of maternity care that's necessary. And they found that only 9% of rural counties lost access to receiving any type of care for pregnant women. And not surprisingly, the closures affect women living in more rural areas. Okay, so it's not the women, believe it or not. You know, there are some facilities in the urban areas closing, but nowhere near as bad as the rural area. I mean, you're, technically, when it comes down to childbirth, you would probably be better off in an urban area. Okay. Now here's another one. This one came out February 16th, 2016. More rural hospitals are closing their maternity wards. Okay. A few years ago when a young woman delivered her baby at Allegheny Memorial Hospital in Sparta, North Carolina, it was in the middle of Valentine's Day. So the delivery route um, was routine, but the baby girl had trouble breathing. Okay, so now when a baby is born and having trouble breathing, and you have a hospital that no longer have a treatment center for a baby like that. Now, see, they had to send this baby to another hospital that had problems breathing, Wake Forest Baptist Medical Center in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. So this baby had to go through a 90 minute drive to another hospital for treatment for breathing complications at birth. That's pretty damn scary, y'all. That is pretty scary. I mean, I... <laughs> Ooh. So now, because of um, there's fewer pregnant women, the ones that are pregnant in this area either have to go to Winston Salem, North Carolina, or Galax, Virginia, which is about 30 minutes away by car. Wow. So, I mean, some of this is repeating the same things that I told you. Okay, maternity wards few and far between in parts of Pennsylvania. Okay. So, more women in Pennsylvania are making these kind of journeys for pregnancy care and delivery. According to the State Department of Health annual hospital survey from 2004 to 2014, Pennsylvania lost 28 obstetrics units from a total of 124, a 23% decline. The closures first hit urban centers and were mostly spurred by the consolidation of medical centers under a few healthcare networks, but the decline has branched out to suburban and urban areas, stranding women and forcing them to go miles away now just for healthcare during their pregnancy. 
Yeah. From northern Allegheny County to Erie, a stretch that ranges from residential to rural, there is no hospital with an obstetrics unit, according to the latest health department survey. In some parts of central Pennsylvania, there isn't one in a 50-mile radius, says Lisa Davis, director of the Pennsylvania Office of Rural Health at Pennsylvania State University. Studies have correlated diff, uh, distances from, um, so what they're saying is it's distance and poor medical outcomes, access to maternity care is on the decline all around the country in the US. And it's mainly outside of your metro areas. But Pennsylvania, I'm actually not surprised about. There's a lot of rural area over in that state. So I am not shocked that they are struggling with um, finding available maternity wards from those rural areas. There's another one. Maternity wards are closing in rural America, leaving pregnant women without care. So as you can see, this is a huge problem in the country. And this one also came out in September, 2017. Okay, a new report from the Huffington Post detailed the closure of maternity wards across the rural South, largely in the last two years, according to the report, Mission Health a North Carolina-based nonprofit hospital network began closing labor and delivery centers that they operated in the state's rural areas in 2015. So they started shutting down in 2015. Mission Health decision left many pregnant women, some of whom are profiled in the Huffington Post detailed piece, at least 20 miles from the nearest delivery ward. And for some, that same distance for prenatal care. Yeah, you know, um, that's another thing. Um, it, it, a lot of their rural areas do not have a lot of doctors. They do not have a lot of doctors in those areas. Okay, the that 20 mile distance is not only far for a woman in labor, but a potentially hazardous one as well. The roads through the mountains during labor pose a major concern, even without snow. The peaks in this region are the highest in the eastern United States, excerpts for, um, except for a few major highways. Such an interstate 40, uh, most roads weren't built by blasting through or tunneling under these hills. And that's how many of the roads were made in Pennsylvania. When they went into Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania had mountains everywhere. And they actually had to blow through the mountains with dynamite in order to build the roads. And when you go through Pennsylvania, there are just mountains everywhere. There were tons of them before they even had highways. There were even more that they had to blast through. So... Again, um, you know, you can see right here with the Huffington Post piece, these hospitals are just closing everywhere. So ladies and gentlemen, start looking for this to happen more and more in suburban areas as well. There's a lot of, even here in New Jersey, there's a lot of suburban towns where there is no population growth at all. And those hospitals are not going to be able to stay open soon. You know, you got to look at it this way. You may be able to get away with keeping many of them open because of the large elderly population that's here in America. But as those elderly populations start dying out, it's going to be fewer people going into those hospitals 
for virtually any kind of care. And you're going to see many hospitals as these elderly people die out. You're going to see a lot of these hospitals close right along with them. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I will see you on the next video. Peace, family. Thank you.